coming down there. Another name. Gandrifer. Another Valkyrie. That's no coincidence. But who'd have etched them on Tears Braziers? <laughs> with magic it must be Golvi. could we could we just hold on to it maybe we'll find the rest of them this spirit lies to you boy how would you know i have known many spirits they are all liars this one is different i know it you know very little Wonder what became of him. Wait, Fafnir? What? Fafnir's storeroom, Fafnir? The 
very one. But Sindri said he was a dwarf. He was. And now he's a dragon. Funny how life works, isn't it? He's chained up. Perhaps we should keep an eye out for binding shrines and free the poor bastard. Now, lads! He's no friend of mine. This little scrote was a constant source of annoyance amongst Aesir and Vanir alike. Then why free him? Trust the recently liberated brother. No one deserves to be held captive like this. You do not dwarf come dragon. You've never answered the boy's question, Head. How did this dwarf become a dragon? I don't know for certain, though I'd wager his penchant for stealing magical artifacts had something to do with it. Must have stolen a trinket from the wrong Banyard Goddess. Another marker. A wee little bugger. <laughs> well, I think Dragon hasn't done much for his personality. Thank <laughs> you. 
the spirit to keep its word is foolish, boy. But if there's even a chance, don't you want to see Mom again? Of course I... She is gone, Atreus. You must accept this. I do, but to see her again. Just one more time. Why do you believe him? You do not know him or who he was. All of this is sinister. He wants to see someone he loved again. I... I understand how that feels. I don't think there's anything sinister about it. Hope is blinding your instincts, boy. Should we dock on this beach? So what was it like when Odin and Freya got married? The peace held, and I truly believed all had worked out better than I could have planned. But Odin's true face showed itself again in the end. He won Freya's trust, and she taught him some of her Vanir magic, another choice she would live to bitterly regret. Sadly, despite his wise counselor's best efforts to persuade him that peace was the only true path to stave off Ragnarok, Odin never let go of his obsession with Jotunheim. The taste of Vanir magic led him to new forms of experimentation and new levels of depravity. Here. Boy. Yes, sir. It's another one of those maps. Another piece of the language cipher. Good. Govig's bones. What will you say to her? To Govig? Your mother. What have you left unsaid? I... I guess... I, I just want to know if she's okay. She's dead, boy. I know that. I... You don't understand. Neither do you. Obviously, the marriage to Odin didn't last, but how did Fran end up the hermit in the woods? Oh, that was a singular piece of cruelty, even for Odin. As if the marriage wasn't punishment enough. Freya was better to him than he deserved. She stuck it out through all manner of indignity, all in the name of maintaining peace and safety for her people. But Odin's madness, his tyranny, his corruption of her magics, it became more than she could stomach, and at long last, she broke it off. Odin's wrath was fierce, and his curses upon her were more than she dared to fear. But her magic was so much stronger than this. After so much time together, he knew her vulnerabilities, and exploited them to craft curses she could never break. Oh, like not being able to leave Midgard. 
Worse still, he robbed her of her warrior spirit. Freya cannot fight, even to defend herself. No living thing may she harm by blade nor spell. In the world this belligerent, what choice does she have but isolation? Poor Freya. I guess if I was her, I'd spit in your face too. I lie. So would I. Treasures from all different realms. Do you think that Fafnir went to Alfheim too? I do not know. Aren't you curious? He sounds interesting. We go to the storeroom to collect anything useful for our journey. Not to learn more about the dwarf. Fafnir was a rather interesting fellow, little brother. Perhaps I'll tell you a story one day. Ah, offerings to Tyr. These are quite rare, you know. Why? Well, you know Odin, not the biggest fan of Tyr. I thought he destroyed all of these. Let's get started then. And what do you have your eyes? Ooh, what more do you need? Just make sure you watch each other's backs in the storeroom. Wouldn't want to lose my loyal customers. Oh. Must have gotten here first. Locked. 
Find another entrance. Look here. Treasure map. All right. Looks like the Reavers made it inside. I hope they didn't take all the treasure. Some stupid pots and dragon. No magical treasure and no what stuff. Keep your expectations low, boy, and you will never be disappointed. Caught you off guard. I wasn't expecting them. Exactly. Resources, the main reason we are here, boy. However, many of these chests have been emptied. Probably by the Reavers. I hope they didn't take Cinder's whetstone. Yeah. I have a good feeling about this next one. Maybe we'll even find the whetstone. Remember what I told you about expectations, boy. Keep them low. I remember. Still, good feeling.
I was ready for them this time. I saw. So I should keep my expectations low, but always expect an attack? It is a delicate balance. Expect the worst, assume nothing, and always anticipate an attack. Sure is a lot to remember. Be ready! <laughs> Still no whetstone. And only one room left. I know I shouldn't hope, but you think we'll find it there? Back to piss on my corpse, you ungrateful little... Uh, who are you two? We're looking for a whetstone. Have you seen it? Aye, there was one in this room. My son sharpened his dagger on it, right before stabbing me in the back. What? Little bastard thought it was his turn to lead my crew. I was hard on him, sure. Hmm. Guess I shouldn't be surprised. I did the same thing to my dad when I was his age. He killed his own father? Where is he now? <laughs> he may be a bastard, but he's my bastard. You'll get no help from me, fool. Then his dagger will help. Hey! That's mine! Hey! Come, boy. We are leaving.
I'm so greedy. Remember what I told you, boy. Assume nothing. Well, sure. He didn't seem like a great father, but... You only know half the story. You, uh, didn't... We found no whetstone. This dagger belongs to the reaver who took it. They took most of the good stuff. Oh? Well, here, take this. In exchange for the dagger. The dagger you brought me is quite interesting. An artless design, but the construction is sound. Where in the temple did you find this? In a reaver's back. Oh. oh. He mentioned he was part of a larger clan. Maybe they took the whetstone? Quite possibly. I know I've seen this design before. He's tight. Who knew? That looks amazing. Yes, my young man? And back to you. safe, you two. Hey, if I'm a god, maybe I can fly. No, no! Gods too must stay on the path, I promise you. So what do you think, Lemir? What does Balder want with us? Well, let's look at what we know. Balder is Odin's finest tracker bar none. If he wants you, you have to consider the possibility that Odin wants you. And as for what Odin wants, on this I have some <sighs> expertise. What could we have that Odin doesn't? He's like the king of gods. Of the Aesir, aye. But his reach is not unlimited. And where he cannot reach, he is preoccupied with going. He certainly tortured me enough about it over the years. 